So just a brief introduction to using the solver here. Um, let's say I have this, this function here, x squared minus x minus 6, and I want to solve for the roots. Solver assumes everything is equal to 0, so if you have x squared minus x minus 6 equals 15, you can put the 15 on the other side and set that all equal to 0. But this breaks down into x minus 3 and x plus 2, right? So our roots are going to be 3 and negative 2. Now the way you put that into the solver is you're essentially going to start a new um, program. I just did a new program space. I'm going to label this um, F and C. And then the, the key here is I'm going to use a menu variable. I'm going to bring back that function up, go up to the row up here, and use a menu variable. Whoops, sorry, that was the wrong one. Um, menu variable here. And then which menu variable do I want to use? So let's put in, I'm going to hit enter and X. So we're going to do a menu variable X. So we're going to enter an X and then we're going to recall X. We're going to square it. That'll be this part. Let's recall x again. I should have put this menu, stored this this uh, x beforehand so I didn't have to type it in each time. Recall x again, and I don't have to multiply it by anything, so I'm going to subtract that from my x squared. And I'm going to enter in 6 and subtract that and that will all be equal to zero. So again, I just did menu variable x, I'm going to enter in a value for x, a guess, and then recall x to bring it back in. I squared it, that gives me this term. I brought it back in and I subtracted it and then put in six and subtracted that. So what the solver is going to be doing is it's going to be putting in a guess for x and, and then evaluating this function. So that guess for x is put into you know, that x squared minus x minus 6. And then it says, is that equal to 0? No, well, maybe I need to go um, put in a different value. I'll increment it and put in a different guess. So now we'll go to the solver. And it looks for programs that have that m variable in it. So this was the f and c that we put in. And we're going to put in some bounds for x. So I'm going to put in a 0 as my lower bound. Hit x. And then a 5 as my upper bound. Hit x again. And then hit x again. And it starts doing some guesses. So between 0 and 5, it found this root, 3. Now let's say I want to do a guess between negative 5, hit x, and 0, hit x. I always put the most negative number first, and then the most positive number second, and then hit x again. It does a search. It's looking, it found the negative 2 root. Now I could put in, say, negative 100, and Whoops. Negative 115. Let's see what it brings up. Okay, so it found the 3 root, but both of those roots are within that negative 100 and to 15. So this isn't going to um, 
completely replace your, your brain here. You've got to make some educated guesses as to where these roots are going to be, but it works for higher order functions, you know, x to the third, x to the fourth. You just have to enter it all into your, um, your program with your m variables.